In this video, I'll be teaching you how to set up PCSX2 and Xlink Kai to play Spy vs. Spy online. Before I start, just know that this is a fairly long process and requires you to download and install a lot of shit and have a lot of patience. If you run into any problems, join the Spy vs. Spy Discord linked in the description and we'll be happy to help you out with the process. The links for everything you'll need will be provided in the description, so I suggest you go download everything before you watch the rest of the video. So the first thing you'll need to set up is Excellent Kai. It's basically like a, it's a LAN tunneling system made for playing uh, classic like PS2 and Xbox games uh, over the internet. So uh, there'll be the link in the description, all you do is just hit this, I already downloaded it. And that'll allow you to download the software. I'm not going to do it because I already have it, but it's just very straightforward. There's no like options or anything, you just hit install and it does everything else for you. And once you're done with that, you also want to make an account on the Excellent Kai website. That's pretty self-explanatory as well, so I'm not going to go through that. I've already done all of that, so... Next thing you're going to need is this uh, OpenVPN tap driver. It's a pretty basic installation, agree. This is going to be the only thing you need installed. Everything else is unnecessary. You just hit next and then install it wherever. Not gonna do that. Um, next on the list, go ahead and extract the PCSX2 emulator. Run it. All right, and uh, this is what you're gonna get here. You can just hit next. If you need to change the language back there, you, you know you can. It's gonna go ahead and add all these plugins. <clears throat> so right here, see, this Dev9 plugin is gonna be the only thing you're gonna wanna change here. So, you're gonna wanna go back and uh, go open this Dev9 uh, RAR file. Go back into here and just drop it in the plugins folder. Uh, you might have to go back and Again. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so it'll update to the CLR Dev 9 0.8.6. Alright, and uh, you're gonna make sure enable Ethernet is uh, in the configuration. Hit options, and this is what it's gonna look like at first. Uh, but since you installed TAP, you're gonna want to use that for the connection method in the adapter make sure you check this box here and then for the subnet mask and the gateway IP go ahead and uncheck these and then you're gonna want to put these in I just have them copied off of a notepad over here those are gonna be in the description as well and then you could just leave this blank or well leave it as the 0000 for now we're gonna be coming back to that later just go ahead and apply, hit next, alright, next is your BIOS ROM, which you will have also downloaded by now, um, it's going to look for it, where does it look for it, oh yeah, the, the BIOS folder, where else, um, so that's what this file is here, it's a .bin, Go ahead and put that in there. Refresh the list, and there it is. Okay. Double click that, and it's going to boot up the software. Um, so now the next thing you're going to want to do make sure your controller is set up because we're going to have to do some in game settings and whatnot. Um, it's pretty self explanatory. I think mine's already, yeah, mine's already like set up by default I use like an Xbox one controller when I installed this and, and set all this up it was set up for me already um, so hopefully that should be the case for you too if not it's pretty easy to set up um, 
and then you want to go to CDVD and go to ISO selector, browse, and this is where, oops, this is where you want to put in your ISO, which has also been provided for you. And now that's going to be selected. All right. Uh, oh, let me just go ahead and turn down the volume. I suggest you do this too because it's really loud by default. If you just go to the audio plugin and just turn this down, it's really, really loud. I'm going to turn it to like 15 for now. Okay. And then you can just click boot ISO full and it's going to start it up. And then for the first time, it's going to give you this uh, little setup thing, you know, like you're starting your PS2 for the first time. You could do whatever, none of this matters at all. Okay, so now we're on the uh, press start screen, so you just gonna make a spy file. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it as spy because I don't, I don't care. It's gonna ask you to format the memory card. Just go ahead and do that. Okay. Uh, now from here, you're gonna go down to options. Actually, yeah, options. Uh, network. And there's not going to be any settings here, so you just go ahead and hit square or whatever you know controller you're using, whatever it's bound to. It'll be X if you're using an Xbox One controller. <clears throat> and you're going to get this is the hard part, okay? Uh, this is the network setting screen, but as you can tell, it's really messed up. Uh, this is just due to the emulator. This is uh, I don't know if they're ever going to fix this, but uh, if you're not. You don't really need much with my direction. So <clears throat> you're gonna make sure you, salute, uh, you ugh, select the top option. It's gonna ask for save location. Let's just press A or X or whatever controller you're using. It's gonna. This is the menu where uh, you're just gonna have to hit right. It's gonna ask you to select hardware. Just hit that. All right, once it brings up this dialog box, this is important. You might get messed up if you choose the wrong option here and you'll have to start over. Um, so there's gonna be two different settings. You wanna choose the second one, the, the one on the bottom where it says uh, PPPOE is not used on the top there. All right, so go ahead and select that and then just write A, write A, right and then uh, it's asking you to just make a name for the network setting so just do whatever I'm just gonna do whatever uh, that's done and then boom okay this is an important part right here so you see right here I'll probably circle it or whatever in the video um, where that it says MAC address these last four digits are what you're looking for see so mine is FF FE you're going to want to use this and go to the uh, the static network address calculator there's a link in the description uh, and go to make sure you highlight the Sony PlayStation 2 F oh sorry I actually held control instead of shift F F F E click on calculate IP address and see the second one right here, the calculated IP address. You're gonna go ahead and just copy that. Uh, go back to PCSX2. Go to config. Back to your Dev9 plugin settings. Bring up the options. And this is what you're gonna put into your PS2 IP address. Okay, just apply. Boom. You could just go through here. It's gonna save it for you. It's gonna ask you if you wanna test a connection. Don't even bother. 
There's no point. You can just quit out. And now we're almost done. Just a few final steps. Uh, just to stop this music, I'm gonna uh, go ahead and turn the volume down now. Okay. Now the last thing you need to do is go to your start menu and click on uh, Start Kai. It should be there if you just installed it. If not, you can just you know search for it, whatever. Uh, it's gonna bring you this. It's gonna ask you to log into the account that you made earlier. Um, I already have it set to log in automatically. And uh, go to configuration. This is exactly what you want it to look like. So you want to change this to make it set to tap Windows Adapter version 9. Uh, everything else, just don't touch it. If yours looks different for any reason, like if you're having any issues, just come back and make sure your settings look just like mine. This is how they should be by default. Don't mess with anything. Just click save on the bottom. And from here, you are pretty much set to go. Just go to game arenas when you want to play. Uh, PlayStation 2, scroll down and find Spy vs. Spy. You can make a game arena here if you want. You don't have to, but it's just nice uh, to show, you know, who's playing the game. People can see if there's people playing, which makes it a little bit easier. Um, <clears throat> and then when you're ready to play, you can just head over to multiplayer LAN. It's gonna request a DHCP configuration. It'll take a few moments. But once it's done, you can just hit enter and it'll show you the list of current games. Anybody who is currently online uh, hooked up to Xlink Kai, uh, you know, if anybody makes a lobby, you'll be able to see it right here. And you are ready to play. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys uh, in the Discord server soon. If you guys are interested in playing some matches, just, uh, you know, hit us up.